I had one of my commenters ask me if I would do a review on this Avid Armor uh, Mylar bags that they have. Actually, they call them Mylar vacuum pouches because these are the bags that are used in the Avid Armor vacuum sealers. Uh, so I went ahead and ordered some. They come uh, 100 to a pack. And for this pack right here, I paid $39, which is not too bad for a 100 count. So these, and they're advertised at four and a half mil size. If you take a look at a standard bag right here and place theirs over it, it's the same width, but it's a little bit shorter at the top. So their bag is kind of like halfway in between a half gallon bag and a full gallon bag, which actually for my purposes fits quite well into my inventory. But we're gonna go ahead and take this and we're going to do all the ASTM tests on it as far as the burst, tensile, and puncture test. And we're also gonna measure this uh, to see how it comes up. It's advertised at four and, four and a half mil. And I have my handy dandy little device here that we're going to measure this out and see how close it actually comes to what the manufacturer says it's going to be. So we're gonna go ahead and open this bag up. And I've had quite some time to use, I've had quite some time working with this bag and they seem to be pretty decent bags. No problems so far. So this is advertised as a poly nylon metallized bag. Their package actually says it's Mylar, but then in their specifications, they refer to it as a poly nylon. So we're gonna go ahead and take this. I've already had this zeroed and calibrated. And we're gonna see what the true thickness of this bag is actually going to be. interesting things in measuring out this bag um, there's really not a front or a back to this bag but this section of the bag came right at four and a half mil no problem with that but I found that the back section of this bag actually was around 4.7 mil so when this whoever manufactured this bag as they brought the two pieces of uh, material together one material one side was just a little bit thinner than the other side. So one was four and a half, the other one was about 4.7. So the back side was just a hair thicker than the front side, but being true to the, their word, this Avid Armor bag is four and a half mil. There's no problem with that. The back side, I found it just to be over just a hair thicker than four and a half. So as far as the thickness is concerned, uh, no problem with the Avid Armor bag, but we're going to go ahead and perform the ASTM test to see how it holds up. This is the ASTM F1306 puncture test. This is the ASTM D882 tensile test. This is the F1306 
1140 burst test. take a look at this and it pretty much just ripped out actually just through the front here pretty typical pretty normal this is a comparison of Avid Armor against other competing brands and against genuine Mylar Avid Armor is right here this little red dot at 2412 grams the little purple dots are genuine uh, DuPont Mylar products. To give you an idea, real Mylar at 7.5 mil was able to endure 21,952 grams, and it's way off the scale. It'd be way, way, way up here. Two mils of real Mylar came in at 6,442. So we have Avid Armor down here, and then we have, of course, we have Walmart, we have uh, Pleasant Grove Farms, we have American Harvest, Wallabies, Harvest Right, Discount Miler, uh, Distribution Services, and the very, uh, and then also down here, uh, Vacuum Sealers Unlimited. But one thing you have to take into account is I also have here the, uh, the mill size of the uh, materials. Vacuum Sealers Unlimited is only 5 mil. Avid Armor is here is 4. 0.5 discount miler is seven. So when comparing the uh, data, just remember the mill size. On the burst and tensile test, we got burst going along this axis and we have tensile going along this axis. Avid Armor is right here, pretty much in the middle of the group. They didn't do too bad. And to give you an idea what the different colors mean is yellow are manufacturers of a 7 mil thickness. The red colors are greater than 7 mil and the orange color are less than 7 mil. So we have Avid Armor being here at 4.5. That's why they're an orange color. The best results I ever had were way up here with Discount Mylar and uh, Distribution Services. The least was down here with U-Line. And so, as always, also take into account the mill thickness. But this will kind of give you an idea of how each individual manufacturer did against their competitors. So we have Pleasant Grove Farms here. We got Harvest Right. We have Wallabies and Vacuum Sealers Unlimited, Pack Fresh, and Walmart. Now, I do a lot of vacuum uh, packing. I, I do not use the Avid Armor equipment. I have a vacuum chamber for that. And with all the vacuum uh, sealing and vacuum packing I've been doing, I've vacuum sealed about 40 bags using this particular bag in my vacuum chamber and I haven't had any problems whatsoever. So actually, I, I like this bag quite a bit, even though it's thinner than these traditional bags. This is a seven mil, uh, seven mil bag. Uh, doesn't seem to be a problem holding up. So I'm pleased so far with the Avid Armor uh, pouch. So this is my review of the Avid Armor pouch. Really don't have any problems with it. Uh, it is a thinner bag and so it kind of falls into a different category than the traditional seven mil food storage bags but I still like these bags. Uh, you get more bags for your money because they are a thinner material. And the question I, I always ask myself, would I buy these again? And I probably would because this does fit a need for what I use them for. So anyway, that's my review on Avid Armor. I'll go ahead and leave it up to you to make your own decisions. And just as a side note, when I use the term buyer beware, that is really not a, a negative statement. It's basically a statement that uh, you as a purchaser 
have to do your due diligence when you buy something. And so that's the whole purpose behind these videos is to put out the facts, to give you the education of what a product is and let you, the consumer, make up your mind. So just beware of what is uh, on the internet and not all bags are created equal. So it's up to you to determine what you should buy and how you should spend your money. But anyway, with that being said, I'd like to thank you for your time. I hope you found this helpful. And as always, I hope you subscribe. It's your uh, subscriptions that help make these videos possible. And I will make another one and get them out to you as soon as possible. And as always, go forth and freeze dry the world.